Cal defeated Scarborough Athletic this afternoon. What were your thoughts on the game? Disappointed with the result. Um, one of the toughest places to come in the division. We, we found that last season. A lot of teams have found that over their time in the National League North. Um, and I think they were a very good side. And they've got some very good players. Um, and rightly asked you some questions. And I thought we stood up to that for 92 minutes. Um, pleased with the way we defended. Uh, pleased with the way we defended our 18 yard box. Covered a lot of distance in midfield. Physically and tactically really exerted ourselves. Um, and I think I'm just disappointed with the result. We're very, very disappointed for the players. In terms of the three away games, because that's what it'll be, I'm, I totally understand that and I, I'm, I'm really okay with it. That we'll have played three away games, we've lost three away games, um, and ultimately we haven't scored. I understand that. If we're going to compare us away from home this year to last season, we will fail. We, we will not match that away record. And I was, I was quite clear about that before the season, but I'm disappointed that we haven't put the ball in the net. But we're really poor on the opening day. That we're really poor, really disappointed. I thought we played the wrong kind of game at Banbury and made it look like we were controlling the game by having possession without really getting in areas that hurt teams. Um, today was the type of performance that I think you'd associate with us away from home. Um, but ultimately the fine margins have, have gone against us. And they are, spoke about it last week, everything is going against us at the moment, whether that's player availability, injuries, um, refereeing decisions. We hit the crossbar three times in the last three games, a free kick and the, like I say, 93rd minute goes in the net. When stuff isn't going your way, it doesn't, and it has a real impact. So um, I'm well aware of that and I'm really disappointed with the start, but I'm back where we were 12 months ago. We're going into a bank holiday game knowing it's an absolute must win. Very, very, very rare I've said that in my, my time here. Um, it is a must win game, but the, the performance today I, I can't fault for the 92 minutes other than I wish we took one of those chances that we had when you're going through this kind of spell that, that stuff doesn't go for you and it's never an easy job but it's perhaps a little bit easier in the moments where you're unbeaten and you're 19 games unbeaten and you're third in the division this season is going to be a fight whether that fight is to be in the top three whether that fight is to be in a playoff position whatever that ends up being um, everything this season is going to be harder than last season relish that challenge and Monday we're going to demonstrate that attitude collectively. Talking about things in terms of going against the group, it probably touches on two their refereeing decisions and player availability. What was your take on the incident at the end where Scarborough get a penalty and Harrison Burke is sent off? Because obviously that's a suspension for him now that won't kick in until next weekend, but it's another player lost as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Uh, I made a commitment um, and I know all the National League managers have to sort of sign something that pretty much forbids us from speaking about officials there's, there's three teams in a game I've said it before I thought the home team were excellent I thought the away team were effective and good in our own way perhaps without dominating the ball and being resilient and, and trying to be a little bit more effective I think we look today more like what we've looked like on the road generally um, and there's a third team involved in the game that's some stuff that I ain't going to come out here and, and talk about um, I'm going to try and be that manager that keeps it to myself and do it through the appropriate channels because there's some really really concerning stuff and, and some concerning stuff said um, but it's fine margins and as much as decisions make it very very difficult for you the ball has gone in our net we haven't put it in the opposition's net and I'll, I'll always come out and, and try and say that but I'm um, yeah, disappointed about some of what I've seen today but certainly not in, in a group of players that have given absolutely everything and have come out on the, the wrong side of a, a really really tight game of course, the beauty of this bank holiday weekend is you've got less than 48 hours to, to try and get back back to winning ways, a home game against Farsley. Hopefully we get a big, vociferous crowd and, you know, really get behind the lads and it's uh, it's um, and hopefully we can get back to winning ways. Surely we have enough credit in the bank to trust us now in the difficult moments. I've spoke a lot. It's it's a quote that's been used about enjoy the, the good moments. 21 games unbeaten on the road is not real. It's not real football. It's PlayStation football. It happens once every, someone said, nearly 100 years or whatever it is. We did that. It's very, very difficult to do it again. Um, there is something missing in terms of obtaining the results. The nature of the start of the season is that I keep talking about margins, but it's a five-game period of being judged on. It's like... Um, if things had gone differently, the Tuesday night home game against Chorley, one of those 17 attempts on goal goes in the net, we have three more points. Some decisions, some moments go differently today. Do we get what I think will be one of the hardest four points we'd have had in my time here? Um, the reality is for us, we we have our targets and we have a target after 12 games. And that's when, for me, and speak about a start. Otherwise, it's, it's like week to week. It's like crisis management. That isn't what we're going to be. But there is a recognition of what it can look like and it can look like a disappointing point return. It's four points from five games. 
I get it, we've only scored in one of the games, I get it, and, and everyone is quite rightly entitled to their opinion and quite right to voice that. I think the supporters that were here today were absolutely magnificent for the way they received the team at full time. We're going to need them on Monday. Um, there will be moments, and I've, I've talked about that, there'll be moments of adversity. We've had them at the start of last season, we had them over the festive period last season. If this is going to be one of those moments, then we, we dig in and we fight harder. That, that's always going to be our identity. And that is players, that's staff, that's the group. That needs to be the club and it needs to be the supporters that we, we've built ourselves a reputation and an ambition and we know where we want to be. Uh, these are the moments where it's really, really important we demonstrate that. It's, it's easy to do that when everything's going right and you have 22 fit players and those moments that I talk about, those margins are going for you. Uh, I'm ready for the fight and I'm ready for the fight on Monday. I, I know what this felt like 12 months ago. I know what that feeling will be tomorrow on the training ground. I know what that feeling will be like all Monday morning and I know what it will be like for 90 minutes on Monday. That is where we're at. And then, yeah, Monday certainly can't come soon enough.